Alrighty guys, so what do I got going on right now? So the 53 Chevy showed up last night. I'm sure you've probably seen this one. It's been in the shop once before. Actually, I did the rear suspension on it. I think that was two years ago. I don't remember. But it's a good buddy of mine. He's in the car club. And uh, his stock front end was just shot. So... By the time you fix that all up, you might also just upgrade to the Mustang too. So that's what I'm doing. And we lucked out. We found this kit actually on Craigslist, I believe, last winter. Guy had it, never installed it. So we got it for almost half price of new. Obviously, it'll have disc brakes, coil over or uh, coil springs. It's got the adjustable spring pockets. It's a chassis engineering piece. Uh, same kit that I put in my 40 Chevy when I built that. I am happy with it, so works out pretty good. But I got all the old stuff taken off, uh, ground up the frame. Some booger guy really welded some nice uh, engine mounts in there, so I had to clean all that up, start fresh. But I just got the lower portion of the subframe lined up. It's in there pretty good. It's measured out good. So, just starting to drill my holes. I can start bolting stuff together. So that's what's going on on this one. I also have to, we're going to get rid of the uh, S10 brakes here. And we're going to move the brakes, the master and that up higher and over. Because right now on this particular car, you can't get the valve cover off when the engine's in. So, we're going to do that. And I have to wire it. And a couple of the little putsy things, but this car should be out of here relatively quick. Probably in three weeks. And nothing really new going on over here other than I'm getting outnumbered by flatheads. <laughs> this little guy here, I'm hoping is going to be in good enough shape that I can put in my Worthington tractor. At least that's my, my goal. And this red one over here was the one that I'm going to use in the belly tank. But I don't know. I know flyheads are notorious for cracking. But it's cracked here. It's cracked there. I'm pretty sure it's cracked here. Which explains why the piston is super clean. Probably was sucking coolant in. Uh, there were a couple cracks on this side too I noticed. So I don't know. We do have a plan B and we have a plan C. Plan B is right there. This one was out of a 41 Ford uh, delivery. A friend of mine pulled that out back in 1960-ish probably. It has been rebuilt. It's all sleeved. Uh, it's just been sitting. I think it's been sitting in his garage for at least 50 some years. He said it was a runner. So we might go through that one. I mean, it's not like we're making an engine that has to go a million miles. It just has to go really fast down the beach. So, <laughs> And nothing really new on this guy. I haven't touched it yet today or yesterday. <clears throat> so that's what I got going on. Uh, and that's it. Figure I'd give you a quick, quick update. So this is what I'm doing. It's Sunday, eh, about noonish getting hungry so been crack a lacking here since about 6 30 this morning and uh well i don't know if i was working real hard but i've been in here since six o'clock this morning we'll just put it that way all right i gotta get back to work later guys